Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Tuesday the 26th of March 2019. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the amazing Radiant Rider Waite deck. This is the deck that I use in my personal readings. They've taken the original Rider Waite Smith deck and they've updated the colors and made it look really pretty and beautiful. So this is the deck I use. Also, the archetypal symbols are there so i don't need to spend a lot of time kind of analyzing the cards as soon as i see a certain card it opens the doorway into my intuition and i can just hear messages coming in so these readings are for all signs of the zodiac they're for everyone who watches if you like the videos then you know what to do please share them online let's have a look at what tuesday the 26th is about and what energy you'll be working with. All right, so we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse, then we have the Four of Wands and the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Wands, when it's this way around, represents news coming in, information being exchanged very quickly. Lots of activity happening, especially around your life purpose, something that you're passionate about, also your career and work opportunities. It's in reverse, and what that means is that obstacles are pulled out of your way, especially when it comes to your feelings. Do you see all the blue there? So really, you're not being held back by any the social restrictions or things that would usually block you and censor yourself, what you're really in touch with are your feelings. And it's amazing because I've read these cards for decades, like I said, but I always find something new. And what I'm being drawn to is this spirit of whiteness here in the middle of the card. And as the ones are pulled away, you're really able to get in touch with your higher self, your feelings... So you're totally in touch with your true nature. So if there are things that you're not sure about in life, what is my life purpose? Who do I love? What do I feel most strongly about? Which direction do I take? You can really tune in to your feelings today and get in touch and find the answers. Amazing. The Four of Wands is the happiest deck not the happiest deck, but the happiest card in the deck. And it represents a wedding and celebration and good times, being part of a community. We've got two ones here, two ones there. It's the vibration of 1111. If you look at a digital clock, it would have two dots there and it would be 1111. It's the highest vibration we can operate on. And this is a doorway card. So by listening to your feelings and really going in the direction of what you love and what your higher self is telling you, a doorway opens for you and you can pursue a life purpose or you can speak to someone who you love and you've never expressed that feeling before. You can express that today. You don't censor yourself. You just let it go. And you walk through a doorway into a time and a period in your life that's happier, that's more joyous, and you create that from within. So it's interesting. It's like by going inwards, you move forwards. It's by taking the unmanifest and the things that are not real, in a sense, not tangible, but they're real to you in an emotional way, and you really get in touch with that and you translate that into the real physical world, you create a lot of joy and happiness for yourself. See all the yellow and orange. You're in control of this situation. You decide whether you want to walk through this or not. And if you do walk through it, it really is a positive experience for you. So if you have the emotional inside today that this is the job for me this is the man for me this is 
the place for me to live. I just get such a good sense about this house. I want to move here. This is really what I want to do. And you walk through that doorway, you're really likely to form new relationships, to build bridges, and to build happy bridges that lead to a good place. And that are abundant, and that bring abundance into your life, and it's a future that promises to be celebratory, but not only does it promise that, it delivers as well. Finally, we've got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, when she's this way around, is a woman who's mastered the element of air. She is able to make decisions. She is transcendent. She rises above the emotional. She rises above passion. She's like justice in a way. When she sees something, she's absolutely free to decide to make her own decisions. And she says, come here, let's hear your case. And um, the case is presented to her. All this white means that she really has no agenda. It's all about freedom. It's using ideas and thoughts to be free. So we've got a case of freedom of imagination here. And it's interesting that I'm being drawn to the wings. We've got butterflies here. We've got an angel with wings. So the truth will set you free in a way. So when the cases come, she then brings the sword down and it judges in someone's favor or in the other person's favor. So uh, I borrowed my mother's car. It's 5,000. It's worth 5,000 pounds. She said it was a gift. Mother on the other side is saying, I lent him the car temporarily and he's not giving it back. Spoken to him about it. It's a shame we've had to come to court about it, but judge, please help me. And there's no contract. There's nothing in place, just as an example here. And the judge says, well, it's your mother's car. She lent it to you. There's no written agreement. So the sword comes down and give the car back to your mother. She wants it back. The card is in reverse. So that still allows the butterflies to fly and to have freedom. But you're not forced to make huge decisions today. And you're not forced to use your intellect to find freedom. There's no judgment involved. There's only a freedom of feeling. Again, we have all this blue here and the white, which is seeing through the fog by getting in touch with your emotions. So you can really find freedom in your life today, not by listening to your intellect and using logic and reason so much, but you really make it by listening to your emotions and acting upon your emotions. That can be really dangerous. You know, like if you, if you're really interested in someone, I've done this, I'm, I've been really interested in someone and rather than reading the signs and making it nonverbal and just seeing if there's chemistry and things, I have um, sat down with um, a friend of mine who I had feelings for, which were more than friendship. And I said to him, I love you. I'm in love with you. And I took action on my feelings and I made them real, hoping for this door to open and for us to live ha happily ever after. But that was in my head. It had nothing to do with reality. And it was like, oh, thanks for sharing, but I don't feel the same way. So that then obviously would hurt your feelings. It's like, wow, okay, I've just really been made myself vulnerable and expressed something and I've been rejected. So today the cards are saying that it's okay not to listen to reason. It's important for you to listen to your feelings. It's right to listen to your feelings. The obstacles are going to move out of the way. And today, if you do share that kind of thing, it's very, very likely that the other person will respond with, a, oh, I'm so happy you said that. I love you too. I just didn't have the 
courage to express that because I didn't know how you felt and you've always been so 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 uh, distant whenever I'm around which made me think that you did have feelings for me in the first place that kind of thing so it's really it's not like that today magically someone's feelings are going to change but the energy is really really in your favor when it comes to feelings of a reason so rather than figuring things out in a mathematical sense and adding pl 2 plus 2 equals 4 if your feelings tell you to go left go left if your feelings tell you that it's really important that another person knows something about you then don't say is it common sense is it does it make sense in a actual everyday way that I tell this person how I feel just trust that it's coming up for a reason and mention it it will lead to a happy place today is a happy day it's a day of joy and it's a day of you feeling good having a sense of well-being and having obstacles removed and not censoring yourself so also, the emotions are very high. So be careful that if something, because we've got a sword dangling down, be careful that if someone comes in with something negative towards you and you're on your journey to fairyland, to the ultimate dream situation being realized, and someone comes in and tries to sabotage that, then emotionally you're going to react and you're going to be like, no, 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 you're playing with the wrong guy, buddy. This isn't going to happen. And you may have a, an angry reaction because you are so in your feelings. So it's a situation, it's a case of balancing the two. Okay, so be in your feelings, listening, listen to them, take the positive feelings especially and allow yourself to move forward with those. But when anger and uh, retaliation and vengeance and vindictiveness come up replace those with forgiveness and love and really be aware of keeping it light positive cheerful loving beautiful genuine and all the good stuff that can come up so if someone cuts you off in the car, don't immediately start swearing and and make a big thing of it. Just say, okay, they may be in more of a hurry today than I am. And it's not the end of the world. I will, My car's not been damaged and I will still get to work on time. 8 and 4 is 12 and 1 is 13. 1 and 3 is 4. And we've got four here as well at the center of the reading. Four is about stability and structure. And in this card, it's a, it, in this case, it's a, it's a gate card. And you're moving into a situation that has more structure in your life than you had in your life yesterday. So by taking one of your imaginings, one of your feelings, one of the things that are floating around your head, and you decide not to censor yourself because the obstacles are now no longer blocking you, it's very likely that you build a house. You build, I mean that as a metaphor, you build something that's solid. So you build a relationship or you build a path to a new job that will land you in a situation where you're working in a city and you build a house there and you open your own business and you stay put so these aren't just whims these aren't just funny little ideas that are here today gone tomorrow it's important that you listen to your higher self to your gut your instinct whatever you want to call it but or your inner child listen to it today it's really important it's going to lead you to a good place you have the opportunity basically to find your own happiness without analyzing it to death by simply listening to your feelings and going for it taking a risk and saying do you know what there are good things in life they can happen and today i'm being guided to take a risk and to 
move, get off the couch and to do something about these things that I'm feeling and that I want. And when you do, you'll find that 99% of the time today, you are going to be successful. This is the happiest, most joyful card out of 78 cards in the deck. I could have pulled other cards. I could have pulled the tower and death, but I didn't. <laughs> I pulled these. And especially with this upright and these two in reverse. So go for it. Don't be afraid. Let doubts fall away and move forward, progress. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. In my personal readings, I use astrology, tarot, and numerology. So please get in touch. Have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.